open wide for the Lazarus and Dagefield show. We are back for another week. And we've sharpened our teeth. This week, we're attacking Shark Week. We've delved deep with the Meg. Because in case what happened down there wasn't clear to you. Man versus Meg isn't a fight. It's a slaughter. We've tampered with sharks' brains in deep blue sea. You don't see what we've done here. And what you've done is taken God's oldest killing machine and given it will and desire. What you've done is knock us all the way to the bottom of the goddamn food chain. And we're hunting down the great granddaddy of them all from 1975, Jaws. $10,000 for me by myself. For that you get the head, the tail, the whole damn thing. Apex Predator aside, let's see what's going on this week. Okay, so for this week, uh, I decided to watch the Oscar-winning documentary uh, for, from this year, My Octopus Teacher. And I love okay. It. Yeah, it's, it's, I thought I'd go with something a little bit different. I do love a good documentary. Uh, you wanted to get stuck in, didn't you? I am a sucker for documentaries. Excellent. I thank you. I thank you. I would applaud myself. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so I heard a lot about this one and it sounded intriguing. And the crux of it is uh, just basically uh, a wildlife cameraman who spending most of his time uh, obviously working and he basically reached a breaking point with work uh, and it was affecting his family life and he decided to kind of stop. He had he just had to stop doing what he was doing. He and sounds he... pretty spineless. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's awful, but I like it. Let's keep it. <laughs> so, yeah, so when he, he had to stop work uh, and he lives in South Africa uh, and he was out just kind of snorkeling uh, uh, by where he lives and he came across this uh, little tiny octopus. I can't remember what, what, uh, what type of octopus. This little octopus and he's filmed the entire thing. And he decided uh, if he could, you know, uh, if he went back every day uh, at the same time every day and kind of met this octopus, what, what would happen? And that's what a documentary is about. It's, uh, it's about him going back and finding this octopus and he builds up this incredible friendship. It's really, really fascinating. Uh, this French, uh, the, this octopus just starts meeting him. He starts. He, he he holds his hand out, and once the octopus gets used to him, he starts reaching a tentacle out, and they start having this connection to a point. Uh, it, it's over the, an entire year because an octopus. Does he, he start predicting World Cup scores? Not quite. Uh, it's no. not not quite that chavy of an octopus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just, just saying. Just get a feeling, and you know. There's something to this creature that's very unusual. There's something to learn here. But it, it gets to a point that this this guy can he goes to visit this octopus, and as soon as the octopus sees it's him, it swims out of this little burrow, and it will just kind of come up and cuddle on his chest, and they just build this incredible friendship. And he follows it for his entire lifespan when it finally meets a mate and, and sounds, his birth. It and sounds then, and gripping. I have it's, to say, it does sound gripping. It is, it is actually strangely fascinating uh, and sad. Um, it's, it is genuinely really interesting to watch uh, and him talk about this relationship that he's built up, built up this octopus. It's, yeah, it's crazy that you can, you can have that kind of thing with a wild animal, uh, especially like a wild sea creature. Uh, Sounds it, just shows, it shows how intelligent they really are. Uh, octopuses um, yeah it's uh, i would thoroughly recommend it uh, as for something Sorry. completely different to to watch i was seeing literally how many puns i could get in during yeah, i was just ignoring uh, it. it's fine i uh, know i know uh, uh, <laughs> it's um i have an inkling that um <laughs> just stop already <laughs> oh my god <laughs> right so the kraken with this movie is then Worth watching? Yes, uh, especially if you like documentaries. Uh, yeah, it's it, like I said, it's really interesting, really fascinating. It's something completely different to watch. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I would I would say just check it out. It's a nice Sunday sure. afternoon watch. 
Okay. Uh, what about well, you, Mr. Lazarus? Uh, what have you been delving deep into this week? Well, I have been delving deep into a completely left field thriller <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, called Woman in the Window. So this is uh, another Netflix exclusive. Uh, it's just come out. Uh, it's got an, uh, uh, it boasts a really sort of fine uh, cast. You've got Amy Adams, who, you know, we've seen sort of a number of things. She's got a lot of versatility, great range. We've got Gary Oldman, who was in Mank, you know, Oscar Gary winner. Oldman. Julianne Moore is in it. Amazing. Uh, we have Wyatt Russell. So for all of you, Falcon. Kurt and Russell's Falcon, son. Um, yes, he is in it. And so, yeah, Captain America, the new Captain America, should I say, he's in it. Um, and good, actually. It's kind of good to see him sort of in a different role. We're cool, right? Uh, particularly as he played um, the uh, Captain America role so well in that series. And he is joined by the new Captain America, Anthony Mackie. So we have both uh, uh, reincarnations of of uh, Captain America in this film. So yeah, it's got a good cast, a uh, lot of uh, big names. Uh, that can often be problematic in any kind of movie because you've got a lot of egos, but they all play uh, sort of their role, so to speak. Uh, uh, but Amy Adams, obviously, sort of is your main role in it. She is an agoraphobe. A uh, psychiatrist who basically is stuck at home and there's lots of references to old movies and particularly Rear Window. I was I thinking it, it that, sounded very yeah. much like Rear Window. So Rear Window, if we talk for thrillers, Rear Window is definitely my favourite classic film. Um, if you want to go down that route, without a doubt, you know, you've got Jimmy Stewart in it, his role of an invalid who's just basically stuck in, in his house and witnesses a murder across the street. And this mirrors, literally mirrors that film where she witnesses a murder across the street. Uh, yes, and yes. And you say your neighbour was stabbed. He just turned out the lights. Uh, and everyone's sort of entangled. So you've got Gary Oldman, who's the husband of this lady who he sees murder, but then you realize, then he turns up with the detective after she makes call and the detective says, uh, uh, no, his wife's in. Where's Jane? And she's like, that's not his wife. And she's convinced it's not his wife. And then there's obviously weird behavior uh, downstairs from uh, Kurt Russell's son, White Russell, is a very cerebral thriller. Uh, she a tough combination is, of words. Yeah, as a as a an agoraphobe and as um, a psychiatrist and as someone who's heavily medicated, she's receiving uh, psychiatry herself because of the agoraphobia. Yeah, the film. One to watch. It's new. It's on Netflix. Cool. There's not a lot of new content uh, out at the moment because of this stupid pandemic. But, yeah. you know, if you've got a Saturday night and you're looking for something to watch and want to think and scratch that melon ball of yours, definitely something yeah. to watch. I, had, I did have a plan to watch that this weekend. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely still will because uh, it, it does sound interesting. So let's dive into part two. Coming okay. Up. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and we will see you for part two.